Hello again and welcome to Retro PC Refurbs. This is the motherboard out of the uh, computer that I was going to uh, show you today, um, but it appears to have broken. Um, so the capacitors do look a bit bulged on it. It was working absolutely fine. Um, I put some memory in it or some more memory in it and then that was it. Um, it will, I do get a light, um, but the, it will not start up at all. So I have switched this over now and I'm now going to do this one. Okay, so another board I've, had, I've got lying around or had lying around. Um, I believe it's a Pentium 2, uh, Pentium 2 400. Um, I have already populated it with some memory. Um, that's uh, three 128 gig sticks at, uh, I think they're 133. Yeah, I think it's 133 uh, megahertz. I have not had this started up. So it's just a generic FSP um, power supply but it does have a 20 pin so it has a 20 pin rather than 24 pin so this should be okay so we have a green light Uh, so I think this is a Reva TNT just for testing purposes. And uh, that's an AGP card. So an AGP card with one single um, VGA out. Here we go. Let's see what we get. So it's powered on. Got a noisy fan there. Oh, there we are. Nothing just popped up on the screen yet. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Right, so it says Pentium 2 266, but that's wrong because it says 400 on there. So that must be a BIOS thing it needs. Um, so I've not got no keyboard or anything connected. Uh, the RAM is correct. Okay, so I'll connect the keyboard and see if we can change that clock. So this is my PS2 keyboard and mouse. Um, this board had, doesn't have a USB on. So it's just PS2. Uh, sorry, it does have, does have USB on, but obviously there's no drivers in for it, so it will not pick it up. So uh, the CMOS checks some error, so the CMOS battery uh, must be uh, flat. Okay, so I've got it at 66 times 6, which is 400 megahertz. Um, it is allowing me to go more. So I can get it to 466, so we'll try it at 466. See whether that's stable and okay. So again, it's booted up okay. So um, there's no operating system or I haven't got a hard drive on there. Um, it's defaulted back to 266, so. so I'll just try that back at 400. Okay, so the case I have for this is uh, this one here. Not a bad looking case uh, from around 2000, 2001, something like that. As you can see, this has a generic uh, back plate in or an IO shield. Uh, luckily, these correspond with that shield, uh, which is pretty um, common for this era. They're all pretty much the same. The only thing it hasn't got is 
any uh, onboard sound there, uh, which is obviously here. So it looks like this will need a sound card. And that does fit in there nicely. <clears throat> okay, so again, I'm using the uh, Asus V9400, which is an MX4000. So the, uh, both drives are in now and connected. I also have the hard drive in. Um, so it's got three sticks of RAM, which is 128 megabytes. So 384, I think it comes up with. Uh, the CPU is all running fine and clean. Uh, the fan was making a horrendous noise, um, but just pulling it away slightly from the actual uh, bins there. Uh, stop the the noise. I think it was actually being squashed by the screws. Um, so we've got the graphics card, which is the uh, the MX4000, and I now have a sound card in there, which is just a generic cheap one from uh, uh, AliExpress actually for four quid. Um, these tend to work straight off the bat on these older systems. I did try a Sound Blaster Live, or at least three of three Sound Blaster Lives um, that I've got left. I've got rid of all my uh, normal Sound Blaster 16s on other builds, and all I've got left now are the Sound Blaster Lives. Uh, these I can't get working. They do work because I've had them working with Windows XP. Um, it just seems to be a 98 problem. Um, I did get one working in here um, it, sh it showed up on uh, in device manager uh, the drivers went in but then it wouldn't play the actual sound um, which I could have troubleshooted um, because it was actually showing up and was was working um, but in the end I just put this one in here because it's no hassle um, this one has a joystick port as well so that one's all good. So all I need to do now is get a, a floppy drive extension. As you can see, uh, this doesn't quite reach to the floppy drive. And as this is Windows 98, um, you would want to play DOS games or get into DOS. Uh, and you might want to play some disc, uh, um, disc games, floppy disk games, that is. Uh, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and give it a good clean as well. There is a tiny bit of dust here and there as you can see uh, nothing too major uh, Give the outside a good clean up Okay, so uh, first game we're going to try is Die Hard, uh, Nakatomi Plaza. So we're running at 800-600 uh, with a medium setting. Okay, so we're hitting 30 at the minute.
Next up, we have Hitman 2. Okay, so first off, we are hitting over 40 FPS. Buongiorno, figlio mio. Come va? Padre, I'm okay. But I... Indoors, we're hitting a good frame rate. So next up is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now for some DOS games. They are being run through Windows, but can be run straight through DOS. Back in the day, with a weaker system, running through DOS, they tended to run slightly better frame rate.
So here is the finished system, ready now to sell.